Hello everybody and welcome once again to Feed the Beast Ocean Block. Today we are going to carry on with Mechanism. Let's get started. So at the end of the last uh, last episode we set up all of this to automate it all. But I did discover one problem and the problem is this. In here I have a recipe for Osmian uh, where I need Osmian dust. And I can't remember which one it is. I think it's probably one of the alloys. Enriched it. No, that's not that one. I'm uh, oh, the basic circuit here. I think that requires an osmium ingot. Uh, I think that's the one that was giving me a problem. Anyway, the problem is I was getting, I was putting the dust um, to get smelted or something, and it was getting consumed in the wrong place. So I've set up another recipe for osmium dust uh, from its osmium ingots. That's right. Yes. So the osmium ingots were used for two different locations. So because um, we can't get dust directly in this mod pack so we have to process it so I set up a second crushing factory here just for osmium dust not used very often but it's there so let's carry on now what I want to do is I want to go over to the base but before we do that I want to show you something else here I have a network receiver and a network transmitter from refined storage and a network a network card and what you can do with these Let's, let's have a look. I've already set this up for the <laughs> dear for the base that we've got here. So here I have a network transmitter. And in this network transmitter, we have a network card. And that card points to a location. It doesn't tell you exactly where it is, but you can find out by putting the coordinates in and going that to that place. Another way to do it, let's just show you, put the one of these down here. So that was the network transmitter here, this one. We just put it down like this. And it then lights up, but you can't put a card in it until you've programmed the card. So let's just go somewhere and have program a card. I think this is the one I want to go to. Yes, this will do, for example, here. So let's say I was doing a lot of work around here and I wanted to set up a network. What you can do is you can simply put the receiver down like this, if you haven't seen this already, and then you can right click this with the, the network card, like that. And that sets the location of this network card, as you can see. It's now linked to this location. Then we can go back home. Let's do that. And then put this into this transmitter here. And it will automatically transmit this to this block, which is 116 uh, blocks away. And then what you can do is you can take something like a crafter, if I've got one already. Let's have a look. I don't think I've got a refined storage crafter. But we probably can craft one up pretty quickly so a crafting grid for example this one let's just start that that should just process through fairly quickly and we can use this as an example so now let's go back to where we were before which is this location and then put this crafty you'll see now it's no longer gray but it's now blue i haven't bothered to color these by the way and then you can put this onto here and then you get access to all of this stuff exactly as we saw before which is great so now Let's go over to the Mechanism Island. I've got a Mechanism Island and I've been doing quite a lot of work here. As you can see, there's a fair amount of stuff that's been set up. So what I'd like to do, first of all, is have a look at this. I've got here sulfuric acid. And the uses for sulfuric acid um, is you can make sulfuric acid. It doesn't actually say what I really want it and this particular stuff like this but let's take for example um, fissile fuel the recipe for fissile fuel is we might use it in this isotropic centrifuge and what we're using here is uranium hydroflux <laughs> hexafluoride quite a mouthful isn't it and for that for that we need to that's made out of this one so that's made out of hydro hydrofluoride uh, hydrofluoric acid and uranium oxide Uranium oxide is made from yellow cake uranium in the oxidizer. And this one is made from ingots, uranium ingots. Okay, so that's that side. On the other side of this, we need this hydrogen, hydrofluor hydrofluoric acid. Well, it's a mouthful. And for that, we need uh, fluorite plus sulfuric acid. Actually, I'm a bit surprised. I don't see oh, that's better. So we can see more of uses of sulfuric acid in this thing. I'm surprised I didn't see it up here, to be honest with you. Maybe, yeah. So you can then use this to make hydrofluoric acid. You can use it to make dirty ores. So you've got dirty lead, dirty tin. There's three pages of this, so it's not too many. Um, and 
dirty osmium. And what these are doing is allow you to do quintupling of ores. But the one that we're interested in doesn't show you here, does it? Oh, yes, it's actually this. That's what I wanted to discover, first of all. So the way to make sulfuric acid, let's have a look at the recipe for this. You make this from water vapour plus, sulf uh, plus sulfur trioxide will produce sulfuric acid. acid. It says here also that there's a way to do items to gas. Now, I haven't found out that any of these actually <laughs> really do work. Compressing factory is not going to compress this. I don't get it, actually. Um, chemical dissolution chamber doesn't work either. I'm pretty sure none of these work. But it says all of these recipes. And the other way to do it is from the chemical infuser, which I think we've saw already. Sulfur trioxide plus water vapour makes sulfuric acid. And in the deconcentrator, which is also not relevant, you, you can do it from sulfuric, flowing sulfuric acid, uh, which is just basically concentrating and deconcentrating the stuff. So that's not very useful. So really the only way to do it is in the chemical, confu uh, chemical infuser. So there we've got water vapour. Water vapour is very simple. It's just made by deconcentrating. Or, I can't pronounce that. It's too long. Uh, water. That makes water vapour. Uh, what we need is sulphur trioxide. Sulphur trioxide is made by oxygen plus sulphur dioxide. Strangely enough, oxygen is made by electrolyting. Let's have a look at the recipe for this. It's from water using the electrolytic separator. So that will separate that to water hydrogen and oxygen you can also do heavy water but that's not relevant for the time being there are other ways to process this one uh deconcentrating it doesn't make any sense that's just liquid oxygen so you got to get oxygen in the first place and this is another way to do it is in here making substrate it will produce some oxygen with um flowing ethanol uh, is it ethanol no ethylene and oxygen but we cover that later on so back to here, we need the electrolytic separator, which will produce oxygen. And the other one of this was the uh, sulfur dioxide, which is made from sulfur uh, in the chemical oxygen. So what we really need is recipes for sulfur. Now there's four different recipes or practical recipes for this. Oh, it's night time, I'm about to be attacked. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll just sort this guy out and come back in a second. Or maybe just do it on camera because it's fairly straightforward to do. Where has he gone to there? Yeah, that's him done. I don't think there are any more. So, right, let's go back to where I was being distracted by that one. So it was uh, actually one of these is to use this sulfur. And the recipe for this particular sulfur was in the slu was a sluicing recipe to make this this was an early game got lots of it actually but it's not what i want to do so let's go and have a look at the uses of this so we can basically explode it earth charges will make that but there's obviously a better way to do it so the mechanism from crusher the crusher for mechanism will do it directly now other recipes for sulfur include pressurized reaction chamber chemical injection chamber so you can take gunpowder plus hydrogen chloride will produce sulfur. That's actually a good way to do it. The, the pressurized reaction chamber is using water and oxygen, which will produce from coal or, or charcoal will produce sulfur and hydrogen. That's quite a good way of doing it. But the favorite one is this chemical injection one. So we can use hydrogen chloride. Why? We've got chlorine and hydrogen. We'll make hydrogen chloride. I've got some more visitors. I'll be back in a second. Sorry about that. So we need chlorine and hydrogen. Hydrogen is made in the electrolytic separator. And chlorine, the recipe for this, is made by electrolytic, another electrolytic separator from, from brine. And that will produce sodium and chlorine. Now, sodium is useful, but it's useful later, get late game, when you start to use the large fission reactors. So I thought I'd save some of this, and um, you'll do it this way. So we'll do it this way. So what I've got set up here is some big tanks. As you can see, these are large dynamic tanks. This one here holds 88,000 buckets of whatever. In this particular case, I've got sodium. This one here is a much smaller one. It's actually got about a capacity of 17.6 million uh, millibuckets, or 17,000 
17,600 buckets. Oh, another visitor, right, so I can just get rid of these guys. They're a pain. They're just a pain. I seem to get them every night. You said I get them on a play video. Oh, there's another one over there. Okay, let's get him. Ah, oh, I can't shoot them today. Come on. You have to get ahead of them. But you don't have to predict where, which way they're going. Right, they're gone. <laughs> Give a little bit of um, experience in the process. So, right, sorry, distraction again. Probably should have a sleep and come back in the morning. Let's do that. Right, back again. So here we have an electrolytic separator, which is connected to this tank on one side and this tank on the other side, uh, but it's got no power. So what we can do to provide this with power is uh, just put down a point, I guess, it would be the easiest way. I don't think I've got one with me, but I probably can craft uh, a point anyway. Let's have a look, what was that network? It's a pointer of plug. I'm not sure which one we need. I always forget. So that's the one we want. Point. Let's craft a type of these to start. Right, we have a point. So I can simply put this onto onto here, and then we could power this up for the time being. Let's just select the reactor network. Oops, we've got visitor. They're a nuisance as well. Let's just get rid of these guys. They get rid of them all three. No, that's one more. Oops, too close. Can't get him. <laughs> I can get it from here. No, I can get them from there. No problem whatsoever. Right, nuisance. <laughs> so this is now producing. Um, it's taking in brine. It's being produced over here. These are the thermal evaporation towers, and they actually take. Let's go back up here like this and right-click this. This is taking as, almost as much water as I can provide it with, and it's producing. Oh, 330 millibuckets per tick of brine. As soon as it comes to night time, this isn't going to cut it. Uh, it'll go off. But here I've got the minimum size. That's the maximum size, and this is the minimum size. And this one, we're taking brine, and we're exporting this into here, into an advanced fluid type. Now, the interesting thing here is, if you have a look at this, press shift on this, this little pipe here has almost got half a million uh, millibuckets of liquid this is just the fluid pipe of course half a million millibuckets of fluid it takes an enormous amount of fluid compared to this tank which only takes twenty-eight thousand. even the ultimate tanks are pretty small but that's irrelevant and here we've got this quantum entangler porter the, this one is connected to here and it's producing it's sending out lithium so let's have a look at that next they're quite a they're quite a handful, aren't they? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up this setup over here. I've got this setup set up ready. Let's have a look. There's three different setups I've got here to produce sulfuric acid. That's not one of them as it happens. Uh, this is the, the one for producing fissile fuel. This was actually pr to produce um, HDPD plastic sheets, in other words. And this one here is to produce... Um, sulfur and to produce uh, sulfuric acid at the end of it which should come out in this particular one here it's empty um probably it's been it's taken into this tank into this quantum and tangler porter here so that's producing sulfuric acid and what you do is this is where we want to start from so in this tank here i should have some sodium okay fine and in this one here we've got the electrolytic separator which has got brine in it producing uh, sodium and chloride Chlorine. And chlorine is going into here, like this, as you can see. I don't need to right click it, I just press the shift. And that's taking hydrogen. So we're getting in here hydrogen. Let's right click it. Chlorine plus hydrogen is producing hydro hydrogen chloride. The hydrogen chloride is then going into here with some gunpowder to produce sulfur. The other option was to do this with coal, I think. Yes. So oxygen and water with Coal will produce sulfur as well, uh, and an output hydrogen as, well, as an extra bit. So at the back here, I have another electrolytic separator that's separating water and producing hydrogen and oxygen. So the oxygen is used later on, and the hydrogen is coming into into here, like that. That's the process. So this is this was the source here. This was taking some sodium gas. So we can take this one, which we don't need to do because we've already got that set up on the other side. 
and it's inputting brine. So we could take this brine ender tank here, or we could use a quantum entangler putter. Let's have a look at the quantum entangler putter. I think I have some with me, so in here. Yes, we've got one over here like this. Um, the recipe for quantum entangler putter is it's a tier four. It's the highest tier, basically. It's the ultimate tier. So they're reasonably expensive compared to the under tank, but they also allow you a lot faster uh, output of um, materials, whatever it's going to be. Well, this is a cheap one, the end of the tank. Let's break that one. Have a look at it. That'll have gone straight into this backpack uh, here. At the top. I've got five diamonds in there. Uh, the reason I've got five diamonds in there, I've filled, my diamonds got filled up. Let's look about here. Recipe for this, fairly straightforward, one end of pearl, what, one cauldron, four blaze rods, obsidian, and a, some wool. And that's it. Nothing, nothing exciting. Sort of, uh, sort of early middle game, so you can do that. So we're, let's come back over here. And this one's actually I'm using this. In fact, I probably don't need to replace it. So we won't. We'll actually use this to do the other stuff. So out of here we have our chlorine. So we can take the chlorine from here. Let's take up these machines. Let's pick up these machines. Uh, they won't go into my hot bar, into my inventory. So we don't need the electrolyte separator because that's already done. But we do need the chemical infuser. Let's take that. And we also need the chemical injection chamber here like this. Uh, that's where my gunpowder is coming in. And here we've got some water and a electrolytic separator. Let's take that one as well. I seem to be breaking up stuff that I didn't want to break up. Oh, that's right, I'll fix that later on. So here we can put this stuff down. Um, good idea if I actually take some cables. I, what I'll do is I'll put down a point here, first of all. I think, yeah, that's probably a good place to put it. And maybe I'll just make some cables down through here. Let's put down a flux point. And just set it up to being on the reactor network, the slip reactor network, that's what do. Okay. I didn't give it a name. Maybe it's a good idea to give it a name. Mm, let's say this one is sulfuric acid. Spell that the English way, by the way. And that will then give output. So we can then power up some cable. I've got some advanced advanced cable in here, 20 universal cables, which is good for power. Oops, wrong one. Let's just try and do that again, pick up the right one. There we go. So on here we need to do the first of those machines, which was a chemical infuser. So they're, they'll be in this backpack here. So let's just get them out. Which is this one. So let's put it down. Now it's facing me, because everything, in fact, in mechanism by default will go from left to right so if you look at the inputs on the side so you usually find that the input is here is on the left and the output is on the right uh, for gases it's the same thing in fact i've changed this one slightly uh, but it doesn't matter very much because we want the, the the input is going to be chlorine and hydrogen and that's going to go on the so we need to give this some hydrogen we'll do that in a second I the chloride can come in here. We need for that one. It's a gas. Now, how do you know it's a gas? It's actually quite difficult to figure it out sometimes. I'm looking for the ultimate pressure tubes. Probably over the top for this. Let's just use some basic pressure tubes. We can always upgrade them later on. Then it's no big deal. Let's put these down like this. And you see this connects into here. And it should also fill this up, but we maybe we have to set this to be a push from a tank. So let's get the configurator out. Don't need the ultimate power cell in there at the moment. And let's just check its mode before we do anything else. Shift and N. I wanted to set it to items, or it doesn't matter whether I set it to items or, or fluids or gases. You can shift right click this here and then it'll push it out. And it gets pushed into this tank here, as you can see. It's now full. So the other side, we need some hydrogen, which we're going to use from the electrolytic separator. Uh, again, this one's slightly more difficult. I'm just wondering how to set it up. Let's put it here. Break two back here. Put the cable down, first of all. 
let me put the machine on the cable. I generally don't like cables sitting on the floor. I prefer them to be hidden, but that's just the way I'm going to do it. Let's, try, let's take the electrolytic separator out of here. This is this one. It tells me that the inventory is water, so that we know that which one they need to use. That's good. And I want to put that down here. And by default, hydrogen is on the left-hand side, and that should be output on the left-hand side. At the moment, I've got it set up wrong, so let's just fix that. These are the inputs. So the input is going to come from maybe the top. Set it for the top or the front. It doesn't matter very much to start with. Uh, get rid of the back. You shift-click it to, to get rid of these. So on the left-hand side, we want hydrogen to come out. Now, that's a gas. Let's go over here. Okay, that's blue. And this is wrong. So let's just fix that. So the, the gas we want to output is blue. It's on the hydrogen. And oxygen is on the on the other side. It's two clicks, and then it's the cyan output too. And you can see that by the colours of these boxes here. It's slightly harder to see. So we know that hydrogen is going to come out on the left-hand side. So all we need to do now is to connect up some pressure tube, basic pressure tubes into that. And that should come into here. Uh, <clears throat> and I have to, it's already full, as you can see, like this. So on the sides output here, we need hydrogen chloride. Hydrogen chloride is also a gas. So we select gases and we'll see it's actually being exported on the top and to the right, which is great. So next thing we need is to put into this the next machine, which is actually in this bag. Let's get the bag out here. So that's the chemical injection chamber. And we just put that down here like this. And as you can see, this is now converting gunpowder with hydrogen chloride into sulfur dust as you can see a bit noisy a bit slow uh, I probably should put in some um, uh, muffling upgrades into this you can do that's one way you can do it through the other process as well so we need to input into here gunpowder so out of our machines here we have now got uh, sulfur and that's probably as maybe as far as I want to go today but well, because with sulfur let's have a look i've got around here some gunpowder uh, that's the one here this is the way to do it i've got these are, are very difficult to pronounce form laric assembly kator well, basically it's a crafting unit and this is a crafting pattern which is encoding three creeper essences these are creeper essences i don't i do have enough space before i do that let's just sort my bag because they're all going to get picked up in here like this and let's just break this lot Okay, <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to put into this some, it's run out of gunpowder. So we're going to put gunpowder into this. I'm going to do it the same way. I'm going to push, put down some cable to start with. And I'll tidy this up later on when I've, when I've got more time. But what I'll do is I'll just run the cable through the ground, uh, through the water and go through the second layer. So right, so now we needed the formula applicator actually can go straight on here as it happens yes that's probably better so i don't need to do this we'll just um, i'll leave it for the time being so let's get that, that out of the bag and then you can put a recipe into this so the recipe is um let's have a look let's go and craft one uh, first of all so this is mechanisms so it's at mechanism and it's Form will do fine. So we can craft one of these uh, crafting formulas very quick. And what you can do with this, let's say you haven't got one. The first time you do is you put it into here like this. You shift click it and it goes into this slot. And then we need some um, creeper, power, creeper essence. So we've got some creeper essence here. And, and you can have a look at the uses of the creeper essence. And the one we want, of course, is to make gunpowder, which is this one. And you can click that into there, like that, and it sets the recipe up. It's got a tick. And then we can encode the pattern like this. This pattern is now encoded to creep essence. So we can put into here some uh, wrong place. Let's just try putting it into here like this. And then clicking this auto mode on off. This will basically process it, and it will then output 
straight away as it happens it's good. it must be the output must be set to the back i didn't check that yes it's set to the back it's normally set to the right hand side but i obviously reprogrammed this one so that's now going into here as you can see and it'll soon be full so the next thing we want to do is we want to put down the the chest and, and the essence in order to make this lowest the chest gone it's probably up here chest and a hopper botany pot and a insanium <laughs> farmland that was the fastest one and i want to put that one block away from here and it's important you do it in this order so that's empty at the moment so let's just put onto that the hopper like this and then we can connect put into this the essence oh the farmland sorry and then we need the seed which was this one here i'll put the rest of the seeds into here take one out and put the rest into the seeds in it now if you haven't got that program these were seeds will then go straight away into the well they won't go because i haven't programmed it up yet and let's just put down the let's put the seed into here first of all get that growing um i think that's everything from that actually i've got some more gunpowder we can take that out of here let's do that and the um fertilized essence drops that's the other thing you can go into there. so we can put these into here like this so that's what you'll get being produced from this plant. This is also quite noisy, another case for mufflers. So let's have a look at this. I need some basic tra logistics transport pipes like this. And then we just simply click this onto here. And then we have to configure this to be a push. We want to push it out of here like that. And then you can see it's in going into here, we're getting essence. <clears throat> and the seeds and the other bits should not go into here. Let's just right click this. You see, it hasn't taken the seeds out of here. It hasn't taken the essence. So it's taking things from the middle. And that's how that works. So now we've got sulfur being produced uh, very noisily. <coughs> but we can speed that up. Well, and we can quiet it down. I think I've got some muffling upgrades somewhere about, actually. Let's have a look. They're not in there. They're probably in this chest. I've made some. <coughs> Maximum is four. So let's take those and put them into here first of all. What you can do with these, you can either simply put them on here like this, right click it, I'll select number one, right click it, and then you can click in here and you can put, shift click these into there. Oh, it doesn't take them. Okay, it takes speed and energy. I didn't expect that. <clears throat> this one's also noisy, let's put something into here, maybe we can put them into here. Yes, this time it will take them. And hopefully this will quieten things down a little bit. Yeah, it is. Good. Oh, maybe the formula. So that's reasonably quiet now. So the next machine will be noisy as this one. And you can also put your, your these in by simply right click, shift right clicking them onto the machine. Like that. Maybe this is noisy one. I'm not sure which one is noisy. <clears throat> right. Anyway, it's quieter than it was. So now what we need to do is we need to carry on with this and produce some sulfuric acid. So that is here. The recipes for that are here. So we've got a chemical oxidizer. We've got a chemical infuser, which is taking the oxygen. It was taking the oxygen that's been produced by the um, uh, separator from water and producing this. So let's just break these machines up, put them down, like that, and put those onto this chain here. So they go here. So the first of those two machines, pick it down here. Will it be in the chemical oxidizer? Let's put this down here. And as you can see, this is already taking in. Processing is this. This is standard side. This is standard. Nothing changed here. So it's going to eject on that right hand side. But it's going to be ejecting gases. As we will see in a second when this is finished. It's now got in it some sulfur dioxide which is a gas. And I think the reason I know it's a gas is because I've done it from experience. Let's take, let's leave, leave those two first of all. Let's put this one down here. And another chemical infuser. So I'm going to put this one down. I've probably got to break this up a little bit further in order to get another two machines. Oops, a bit heavy handed than my tool today. So this is now going to take the sulfur dioxide and the sulfur trioxide is going to make sulfur trioxide with some oxygen. So now we need to go and get the oxygen. 
which is going to be coming out of here on the right hand side which is quite nicely done isn't it so let's put this down again it's a it's a pressure tube thing so that's just ultimate fun anyway, I want the basic pressure tubes if I can see them there we go they're fast enough for these processes because these processes are reasonably slow anyway and I want that coming into this machine here don't I so look at this now now oxygen is full as you would expect which is great so <coughs> there is something you can do with this by the way is if you if you get excesses so at the moment this is excess oxygen which is fine we don't care about that. But the one that you would possibly care about is here where you've got too many too much of one thing and you can basically either store it in a, in a tank or something like that or just do it like this the hydrogen as you can see is now coming into here this is busy producing but this should have stopped except for it's producing hydrochlor hydrogen chloride in order to process the right fantastic okay next one before before i finish this video today <laughs> eventually i've got the next part of this process is the, cent the chemical infuser and we're taking water vapor and sulfur trioxide and we'll produce uh, sulfur yeah trioxide will produce sulfuric acid so let's get that out of here break that one and we'll also take this rotary condenser which is on that produces water and we'll take that as a quantum and tablet water as well so now next one I need some more I need some more pipes down here or not pipes I need some cables going running through here let's get those out I'll have to fill up the holes later on I'm not going to bother now I think that should be enough move that point out of the window let's get the next machine out so that's the chemical infuser. Put this one down here beside this. So this is taking water vapor and sulfur, sulfuric trioxide, and we'll be producing sulfuric acid. So we need now to get the water vapor. So the water vapor is made by the next machine. Let's get it out of the bag here. It's the rotary condenser. We've put that on the end of this power up here. And have a look at this. I've got water. And it's actually set up the wrong way around. This is taking water vapor and setting it to pushing it, which is the default. It doesn't say. You have to click it this way around. So then you can see that disappears down straight away and it's now produced using this water up. So I need to give this some water. And the way I've, I've got two choices, we can, uh, well, actually, we haven't done it, any of it yet. So we could put, let's have a think. If I put down the the tank here where it's gone to it'll be in the bag of course I think it got picked up in here yes I've already got some of these down I should got some already already ready haven't I so we can put this tank here and then we can take a pipe and we can take a pipe and feed it into here now they won't connect which is good because these are, these are gas pipes and we can want to do a fluid pipe let's get some fluid pipes out of this basic mechanical pipes are the ones we need so what we can do is we can feed this into the top of here like this oops missed try again so I don't want to get into this break it off be careful when I break this off because I break too much so we can then take this one here and just bring it along like this and then this needs to be set into pull mode or we can maybe it's not well maybe just check the configuration of this so this has got nothing at the moment it's not coming in from there side configuration we want the input to come from the back uh this is liquids yeah so the input's going to go to the back in fact this is the wrong way around i want the output on here and the input to be on set it to red so so it's always going to output this direction so this should be full which it is and this is making now it just needs water in the water will come in from the back here when we as soon as we right click this tank it should be filled up with water it is fantastic and the water is also going to go out here and get in come into this machine and as you can see this is filling up nicely so that's it except for one last thing and that's to transport this away with this content and tangle of water let's get that out of the back pipe as you can see inventories get fairly full fairly quickly and i'm to get the right item put it back in again and then simply put this down on the front of here we check the before we do that 
we just check that the side configuration. So furic acid is also a gas, so it's set to the front as the output. So let's put this onto the quantum entangler photo, like that. And then we can set this to sulfuric acid. The way you do this is you just type a name in here like Fred. You know, you can set, and then you can click it and you can say, okay, this is Fred. And you've got another one called Fred. And, it, and then you can use that one. It says here, the public one, let's delete it. I don't want that. So sulfuric acid will just set it. And you'll see that here it says sulfuric acid public. I won't go into the security because it's not multiplayer. So I never need to apply so. So this, this one now is producing sulfuric acid. If you press shift on it, you should see the sulfuric acid going up, which it is. So that's it. So that's it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Next time we shall do some ore quintupling. So until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.